You're watching 10 Eyewitness News. Senator Barry O'Sullivan was bunkered down with his advisers in Brisbane today, refusing to answer any questions about his business dealings. His family companies have been profiting from federal government contracts, which is forbidden for MPs. But rather than set the record straight today, the Senator declined our invitation for a chat. Hugh Rimmington has more. Just last year, Senator Barry O'Sullivan lavished praise on public servants controlling a government agency, the National Disaster Relief and Recovery Arrangements, or NDRRA. I personally believe you need to be congratulated. What was not obvious at the time was that Senator O'Sullivan part-owned a company with a contract funded by that same agency. And I want to thank you on behalf of Queensland for processing these claims in the professional and obviously prompt manner that you have. Just months before, his family company, Newland Civil Construction, had successfully tendered for $2.2 million to repair roads after flooding in central Queensland. The key source for that money was the Commonwealth Government. Well, I think Senator O'Sullivan uh, could find himself in some difficulty. As 10 Eyewitness News revealed exclusively last night, Senator O'Sullivan's apparent private income from several Commonwealth contracts puts him at least potentially in breach of Section 44 of the Constitution, which forbids parliamentarians from having any direct or indirect pecuniary interest in any agreement with the Commonwealth. It's there to stop people profiting from arrangements with the public service, which surely should not happen if there are a member of parliament. Senator O'Sullivan yesterday released a statement saying he has done nothing wrong. He has not responded to our questions today. Given the seriousness of these issues, there is a remarkable lack of interest from the government. If Mr Remington wants to commence proceedings against Senator O'Sullivan, he's free to do so, I'm sure. No, Mr Turnbull. As you know, journalists cannot refer such matters to the High Court, but the government can. The Attorney General, so far, has done nothing. No. Right. You haven't sought advice in relation to Senator O'Sullivan? No. Right. Look, the government can't cover this up. These are very serious allegations, and we know this because of what happened to Senator, former Senator Day. The High Court kicked the former Family First Senator out of Parliament over pecuniary interests. Citizenship issues are embarrassing, but as the old-timers say, follow the money. Hugh Rimmington, 10 Eyewitness News.